fear water see if you want to increase your route running from this to this keep watching so the biggest mistake you guys are making while you're breaking down on that route right there as you saw in the first example we have somebody who does not get low enough they do not drop their hips enough and they do not get low enough on that cut which makes you take more steps and it makes you slower from turning out of that release and actually getting to the football if you're having some trouble on that though i got a great drill that can help you out what you'll need is a cone some cleats and of course 110 percent so what you're going to do is just take this cone place it about 10 yards away from you then get in your basic receiver stance right here then what you're going to do is, is burst out of this drill right here and when you go down here, this is the most important thing that you guys do not do to get low enough. And this is a great drill that will help. It's actually taking your hands and trying to reach them in front of your feet. So as you can see right now, not even close. I'm touching my knee. But that's because I have not sunk my hips. If I sink my knees over my shins and my chest over my knees, then we can touch the ground efficiently. And this is the... The base receiver stance you want to be in right here. Your chest has to be over your knees and your knees have to be over your shins. So as you can see, the camera cannot see my toes right now because they're blocked by my knees. So when you run the thing in full speed, it should look something like this. All right, I know it kind of looks weird when you're running the drill, but don't worry because this is just for practice. Now don't do this when you're practicing with your coaches, when you're practicing in a real practice. Anytime you got some free time at home, just go out and run this drill because it will ensure that you get that proper position for when you break down. Because so many receivers nowadays do not get that drop. Another tip I can give you, after you mastered this drill, after you've done it a bunch and you just naturally start to break down like that, what you need to do is have a violent arm drive. As you can see, should see in the video, I literally didn't move my arms at all. I shot them straight down to to make sure that my knees were over my toes and that my chest was over my knees because this drill ensures that that happens but once you move on you need to make sure that you implement into there that strong arm drive so you can get out of that cone really fast I hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm filming out in the rain for you guys really hope you found some information from this and really could just use this and implement it into your practice when you don't got anyone around just practice this a lot it'll really help when you're in practice and when you're in games